thing I need to say real quick, um, uh, Sister. Um, uh, Carolyn. Carol, thank you. Yes. you. You didn't change your name, did no, you? No, oh, I didn't. Okay, I thought maybe you did. Not since last uh, week. Sister Carolyn, we have a Thanksgiving <laughs> coming, dinner coming up on Thanksgiving Day. Yes. And I'm going to put an appeal out right now because we're going to have more people than we've ever had before. We yes. really know that. We, in the past, we've had 500 or so. I think that number is going to soar to 600, 650, 700. And we're uh, kind. Of, we're going to be a little short on food unless we get some help. So we're going to get a some church help. out there would like to donate to this effort on Thanksgiving yes. Day, please get a hold of us. Call the school. Yes. Call me personally if you wish. We'll come and get it. But we're a little a little uh, nervous now about having turkey, not enough turkeys and such. So please do give us some consideration. And we send, through the wonderful courtesy of the MTA, we send buses all over the city picking up folks um, at designated locations, uh, public housing projects, and some other locations as well uh, to get them to our, uh, our dinner. So, uh, folks, if you have a a little spare change hanging around, you'd like to help us with that. We certainly, at this time of year, at this time of year, we could really appreciate that assistance. Well, enough with that. Let's get into a real focal point. Jamie Bennett, good morning to you, and how are you? I'm good. How are you? Well, fine. <laughs> Thank you. I hope you know I'm okay. Uh, it was such a pleasure meeting you about three days ago. And uh, tell us, uh, tell the audience how that happened, if you don't mind. Uh, we heard a little bit about your school, and we decided that we wanted to put our boys in that school, and get a good education and pretty and, much. <laughs> and you, you called, you wanted a tour when you were in the office yes. and the office lady called me and said, Art, can you come up and take a phone number? I said, no, I'm going to take a phone number. I'm going to meet her right now. <laughs> so I popped up there and then we agreed this morning might be a good time for that tour. Yes. So yourself and uh, the boys and I took a little tour and they're going to say a little few words in a few moments. But let me, let me kind of put you on the spot for a moment and okay. ask you, why did you make that determination that you wanted to come to International Academy of Flint? I uh, decided that I wanted my boys to have the best education they could possibly get. The school that they are currently attending wasn't teaching them well enough, wasn't pushing them very hard, and they were slacking a lot. Okay. And it was acceptable at that school, and I have high expectations okay. for them, and they weren't meeting those. Okay, well that high expectation, that's a great term. Exactly. Brother Paul Herring, good to see you this morning. Good I know morning. your sons have been with us since before they were born, it seems. Dumb as a stick. <laughs> <laughs> and that high expectation thing is something we've, we've embedded into, into your family as well. And the young men that you're going to hear from today, both our coaches to my left uh, audience as well as uh, our students here, uh, high expectations is what we expect behaviorally academically and as young men and young ladies uh, as they proceed through our school we are have high expectations for them well let me ask you maybe one question further miss bennett and that is what did you think of our tour that's the first time you've been in the building right. kind of respond to the facilities that you saw and what's your reaction we haven't talked so i don't know really what you're <laughs> going to say um it was it was very nice um i liked how it was set up the way that it's set up that some kids can't get to the other kids as far as like mm -hmm being separated between first, second, third, and fourth, fifth, mm -hmm. and sixth. Mm -hmm. um, it was very clean, very well organized. It was pretty much all set okay. up, ready to go. Okay, very good. Yeah, we do, because we were a K-12 school, some parents may have apprehension. I don't want to send my kindergarten to school with big kids. Well, we, we separate them quite nicely. We have a pretty good plan for that, and I think that was evidenced by what you did on your tour this morning. All right, let's talk to Cameron and Jordan. They were the tourees. Hi, guys. How you doing? Good. The, Good. Well, they're, they're going to be, they were sure wordy on the trip. I hope that converts to radio program. Um, what was your favorite thing you saw, guys, on the tour? Somebody? Anybody? What did you like? <laughs> <laughs> I liked the classroom because it was organized nice. Okay. Organized and, and we had your name ready on your desk, didn't we? Yes. How did we know that? <laughs> okay. Yeah, we had your name on the desk, name on the locker. How oversized the gym was. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we have two gyms. You saw that. One's for the big high school kids. The other one. What do we do in, in that other gym, the smaller one? What is that for? Isn't that for cafeteria? Something Lunch. Like Lunch. Okay. How can you be so so loud? In, in, in they half hour not later, not they're barely moving. Okay. Well, yeah. I know you're kind of excited because you certainly, you. every time I tried to explain something, they were interrupting me. But Because uh, they're you? so excited and now they don't even know what to say. <laughs> okay. Are you kind of looking forward to it Monday, guys? What do you think? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're probably going to give you a buddy that day to kind of walk you through the fifth grade young man, the fourth grade young man. You'll have a, a little buddy to help you kind of get familiar with the system and, and know where things are. 
So we're glad you're with us, and uh, I know that Mother said you really like to participate in things. And, of course, we have sports galore, and we're going to bring on our coaches here in just a few minutes because even though they're high school and, and uh, basketball coaches, we have a bang-up elementary program as well. In fact, wow. today is kind of a, a day of pause between the season and the tournament, which begins next week. And we must have, we're going to find out, but I think we got 100, 150 kids there that are playing Ooh. every single Saturday. We're going to find out from, wow. from our gentlemen in a moment, too. <laughs> well, I tell you what, kids, we, we're going to bring on our coaches now. It's, it's, we'll bring you back right uh, towards the end of the program. Think yeah. about some, maybe a final remark or so yeah. uh, that you might might want to say. Is that okay, Ms. Bennett? Yes. Okay, real good. And we are really welcome to the international family. We are pleased to have you here. So as your young man kind of slide off that way, and mom too, Thank we're you. going to bring in the big horses. Okay, you guys, take over. Here they come. What's y'all chant? What's y'all chant? What's y'all chant? I-A-F, I-A-F, I-A-F. We're on the air right now. Can you believe it? Okay. Hi, everybody. We got... Uh, Look at the camera quite often. 26 Thank coaches, 45 kids. It's going to be great. Mr. Popper, are you going to come over and sit here, sir? Oh, okay. Love to have yes. you. Mr. Popper over there. Okay. Okay. Mr. Kendall, while we get organized here, the camera people must be going crazy because we're walking it's all back good. and forth it's all good. in front it's of the camera good. every Gentlemen. single place. Mr. Kendall, maybe I'll have you uh, welcome, first of all. Ed, I've been trying to get you on here since 1922. Finally, you've been on. We're glad you're here, big guy. Okay, why don't you please give us an overview of um, like what you expect from the season, maybe, and then uh, introduce your coaches. Uh, of course, I know them, but it's better coming from you. So if you wouldn't mind to do that, sir. All right, um, for the season, I, I expect us to have a real good season this year, um, real promising season. We have um, a lot of young young talent coming up. Um, our student athletes this year seem to be hungry, real hungry, as Coach Pope says. Um, we have a new, uh, all new staff, mm -hmm. you know, that we've assembled. We have Coach Secure, yep. which he'll be coaching the um, – JV basketball mm -hmm. team okay. and also assisting with myself as the varsity head okay. coach Great. and the seventh eighth grade program. We have Coach Pope. He's going to now that's run Coach Embry Pope. Land. Coach Embry okay. Pope, and yes. Detonio uh the yeah, Shakir. Shakir. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. And Coach Pope will um coach the seventh grade team. We have um Coach Taylor who's can't yeah, be with us this morning. Is he, is he yeah. Here? No, I I think he's running a little late, okay, <laughs> but okay. no problem. Is. And um, I think the whole season, does, from the seventh grade on up to the high school, will be very promising this year. Okay. Now, I uh, of course, I'm in the halls after school, particularly last night, and you guys, uh, you were drilling these kids. Uh, they sweat a little bit. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Amazing, yeah. 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 <laughs> you're hollering at them. They're grunting. They're groaning. They're screaming. They're hollering. It was a great day for me. I wasn't doing any of that. <laughs> but we got to talk to these guys here in a minute, too, regarding uh, how they feel they're getting prepared for the season. Um, Coach Shakir, what, anything you'd like to say about uh, how things are going in your opinion? I think uh, right we're now, at this uh, year compared to last? Right. Things are going real good. Uh, I mean, we have a real good structure of what we expect out this season. I think uh, Coach Kendall is uh, prepared for this season uh, better than last season. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm mm -hmm. ready. I mean, the kids, they, like uh, Coach Pope said, they're hungry. Mm -hmm. They're hungry for the season, so we're going to work them hard, you know, so we can have mm -hmm. those high expectations for them. And uh, we're ready. To, to win. Okay. Well, Coach Pope, you've been quoted twice here. Yeah. And talking well, about hungry. Now, either that's you talking about your belly or you're talking <laughs> about the season. So I'm let's talking, hear from you, sir. I'm talking about the season, sir. Uh, for one thing, I just want to thank God for putting me in the situation over here at International Academy. Um, it's a great thing. Um, uh, number one, like the coaches told me, we've, we've been talking about the kids. They are hungry. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we're gonna, I think we're going to be pretty good. We're going to be pretty good. Okay. okay. Now, I know I'm probably asking you this question as a lead here, because every Saturday morning I see you out in the gym with uh, surrounded by little people. So <laughs> you want to talk about the elementary program, or who wants to do that? Which one of you here? Um, Coach Kendall can help. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we have um, our third through sixth grade program. Well, actually, last year it was third through sixth grade. This year we, we've added second grade. So our second grade team plays. Mm -hmm. um, they come out, they play in a high school gym. 
it's packed like a high school game. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. Every Saturday. <laughs> We're off this week. Um, you know, let them get some rest, and then we can come on. To them or you. Now, let's get this straight. Uh, both. Thank both. you very much. <laughs> both, 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 both. <laughs> and we'll be back next week um, with Championship Week. Yes. Um, now, what's that mean? What's that mean? Championship Week is um, we'll have a, sort of a playoff. The first game is one game elimination. Single elimination. Then um, we'll have the second grade championship at 12 o'clock. We'll take off intermission for an hour, mm -hmm. and then we'll set everything up where they'll play full court okay. like the high school course. way, right. and then we'll right. go into the second and the third and fourth grade championship, the fifth and sixth grade championship, and the, the girls championship okay. also. Okay, all right. Now, uh, Miss Bennett, it's unfortunate, Miss Bennett, you, you missed, uh, you're coming so late to our school because they missed this season. But we'll get them in the next port that we have, I assure right. you, because I know they want to they play and they're, they're they eager to. Everything. Yeah, I know. Oh, okay. we're going to have a, we're gonna have another one, too, after this. We're going to you know, start our season. Then me and Coach Kendall and Coach Secure was talking about starting another. Kind of like a phase two then. Yeah, right. right. Okay, so great, great. So great. That the young fellas would have a chance. And um, like I said, we don't turn no kids down at all. Okay. And if the kids want right. to get better, and plus we're supposed to be having a basketball camp, too. For the younger okay. kids too, so they can um, you know, learn drills and right. everything yeah. too. All right. Now, so, what do we got? If we do have, do we have any tournaments or anything planned for the holiday season, or a workshop or a, a camp that we would be running during the holiday? I know I didn't ask you this before. Yeah, no. So, um, no, we're just like we're preparing for the high school season coming up. We, we can, okay. we can, we start practice, actual practice, the 14th, which is Monday. Mm -hmm. So, we'll be into that a lot during yeah. the. And yeah. during the holiday season, we'll be there practicing. Yeah, our games. Yeah, now, would it be possible during the season when we have a home game that maybe some of these teams, elementary teams, could play at halftime for yes, a right, right. We'd like to do that. Mm -hmm. That'd be generate a lot of enthusiasm. Yeah, right, right. Get them kids I mean, in front of all the people. It was a time where they had the, the little the cheerleaders. Yeah. Oh, I remember sure did. Yeah. They came through, they said a little chant through in the yeah. second half. And those days, I got parents come through yeah. and it's packed. Yeah, it was great. Sister Carolyn, we had 4,822 4, cheerleaders. I believe it. Yeah, okay. I believe that. <laughs> that was just on half court. <laughs> but, well, listen, we we got to talk to the kids here that are part of <laughs> oh, What's the matter with you? <laughs> You're so funny, man. <laughs> you are a comedian, man. No, no, no. Well, Kendall we, and others, we got to talk to the young men that are getting all this abuse, and I mean that in a good way. Um, folks, why don't you tell us who you are and the grade and what you anticipate for the season. And the other thing we're going to talk about, folks, academics. These kids can't play for us unless their grades are up. And we'll talk a little bit about that in a moment. But who wants to be first here? Um, my name is Terendis Mack. I'm a 10th grader. I play varsity basketball. And this season, I'm really hoping we can play hard and make it to the Breslin. Oh, Man. the Breslin, okay. And folks out there that may not know, that's Michigan State University finals. That's finals for class. We'd be class C, wouldn't we, coaches? Okay, yes, we want to be there. Breslin, here we come. Good mm -hmm, idea, sir. young man. Okay. Y'all calling them out? <coughs> calling them out. Call okay, them that's out. it. That's wondering. it. We're calling them out, calling sister. Them okay. Them okay. Watch <laughs> out, America. All right. Okay, now I heard uh, something about this young man this morning, Mr. Kendall, that he's a pretty good student. Oh, yeah. Uh, Tarandis is... Uh, He's one of our um, higher quality students, as far as um, academics come. Yeah, it's like it comes easy to him, okay. and so he's 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 coming along in other areas. Right. right. Okay. But yeah, his academics has never never been a question. Okay. But now that I'm going to challenge great him added, further. Added, Go ahead, added, coach. Great attitude too. Oh, okay, coach. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Yeah, but just because this may come a little easier, don't just do the minimum. You know, you gotta. We have higher expectations for you. And I know we talked just a little bit before we came here. Tell us what you're interested in doing in terms of maybe looking at a career, if you don't mind. Um, I plan on being a crime scene investigator after okay. college. Now that means uh, certainly some college, no question about yeah. that. And that would, might be a forensic science curriculum. Have you looked at a college or a university yet? Um, Louisville and University of Florida. Okay, wow, very good. You're planning ahead. I like this. He's a planner. Okay. All right, let's shift gear to our other knucklehead over here. <laughs> and I use that in a good way because he's, he, he's a kind of a clown in a way, in a, in a constructive way, and I don't mean that negatively at all. Uh, young man, give us your name and your grade and all the stuff that we need to know about you, the position you're, you're going to be playing, and uh, we'd like to eventually find out what you have in mind for a career as well. So 
whatever microphone you want to use. We'd love to hear some of that <laughs> right now. Uh, my name is Tyree Keys Jr., freshman at International. Yep. Uh, it's a positive school. Help me with my academics. It's been a blessing that I can become a varsity and help out and go to the Browns line. Yeah, now, now, Coach, uh, of course, we recognized him last year for eighth grade. He was one of the better team, better players. On, no matter what team we played, he was one of the better kids on the court. Um, now, you've moved him up to, to varsity as a freshman. So wow. why don't you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, yeah that's, that's, um, that's kind of unusual um, for all over. Um, freshmen just don't come in ready to mm -hmm. play mm -hmm. varsity ball. Um, but Tyree, he's uh, he's a special kid, okay. and he has lots of potential. Mm -hmm. um, and like I said, he'll be backing up um, Tyrannus Mack, who will okay. be our starting point guard. Okay, okay. But it's um, very very little, if any, drop mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when when we sub in for those two. Yeah, and we keep little. the pressure on the yes, other team by like keeping keeping those legs fresh. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes. okay. So there's a, there's a, there's a target on you, young man. The other teams know they're going to look up that lineup and see. Mm, Sorry, Keys, <laughs> F, freshman. Uh huh. Let's put some pressure on this dude. So you will have um, you will have some attention. So you need to stay straight, stay strong, and we need to make sure you stay academically strong as well, so we can use you all year. Now, gentlemen, there's one thing we didn't talk about. We're on WFLT, the best gospel yes! station in America. Mr. Yes, yes, Carol, right. those outbursts are certainly non-professional. <laughs> love it. I love it, too. But why don't we just go around, if you're comfortable with that, folks, your church, the church family that you're with, so folks know where you go and, and the fact that our uh, kids and our staff are church-connected. I think that's important. Well, I, I, I attend uh, Family Worship Center. That's Coach Kendall, everybody. Yep, Coach Kendall. Um, Family Worship Center. Um, <coughs> Reverend Stokes is our senior pastor there. Mm -hmm. okay. Coach Shakir. Uh, Coach Shakir, I'm at uh, North Star Ministries. That's uh, James O. Flowers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mr. Um, Mack. New Beginnings, Pastor Clarence Lewis. Okay, very good. Mr. Keys. North Star Ministry, oh Pastor O. Flowers. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. And uh, Governor Pope, what do you got? Uh, Second Chance Baptist Church, I'd like to give a shout out to my um, my church family and my pastor, D.A. Derek Aldridge. Okay. <laughs> well, you snuck that commercial in there. <laughs> <laughs> Aldridge, if you listen, you're paying for that one. <laughs> Well, that's, that's great, I tell you. Hey, who's this guy standing next to me here trying to peek in on, on our sub? Tell us who you are, buddy. I'm his grandson. Who's grandson? <laughs> you know that guy next to you? Mr. Yeah. Pope? That's your, grand, that's your granddaddy? Mm -hmm. Okay, he's a pretty good guy, isn't he? Yeah. All right, and you like our school a little bit? Mm -hmm. How much? <laughs> <laughs> Folks on the radio, he's got his hands, he keeps moving them wider and wider. It's so cute to have this young man with us. Oh, okay. <laughs> you funny. All right, well, there we go. Now, um, Mr. Mr. Kendall and Mr. Shakari are part of our uh, behavior team at our school, too. So maybe we could shift gears ever so slightly and talk about your day school responsibilities a little bit and the expectations we have in terms of behavior for our students. And then we want uh, 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 Cameron and Jordan to listen because uh, they're going to be brand new to our school so you guys understand what we expect from you in terms of behavior in the classroom and in our school building. So one or both of you could talk maybe for a moment about that if you're comfortable. Mr. Kendall. All right, this is Coach Kendall again. Um, I assist with the discipline in the high school and actually all over if they're if I'm wherever I'm needed um, the high school we kind of um, we're a uniform school we expect you to have your shirt tucked in pants pulled up no sagging um, boys can't wear earrings um, and we just respect yes. yeah we, we we expect you to respect the teachers um, the staff and your classmates. Mm -hmm. Um, and we've um the last couple years, we had um, you know, kind of slipped in our um behavior. We started having more like at our school, we might average um two fights a year. Oh. Last year, um, we might have had five or six, but this year is yes, yeah, totally on an upswing. Mm -hmm. 
and we're going getting back to normal. It, it, yeah, it's looking no it's, right, right. It's looking very good. Sister yeah. Carolyn, I, I've been hearing there's five or six fights per day in At certain schools. Certain schools. Yes. I, I will yeah. mention that I'm told that, so yes. I only tell you what I what I've heard. Yeah. Well, Coach, that's good to hear, and I know you, uh, you know, you're up and down the halls, and we're kind of that use, maybe that overused term, but really it is true, Coach, folks, we're proactive in terms of discipline of children. Coach, you care, you want to say something about that, and tell maybe the grade level that you work okay, with. Okay, I'm uh, Coach, you care, I'm with uh, K2, and uh, I think we have a real, uh, real good uh, staff, uh, student management team, <coughs> mm -hmm. overall. Uh, we deal with it with K2. Three, five, six, eight, and ninth through twelve. Okay. And it's two okay. uh, student management teams with each okay. department. Now I, I walk through the halls on occasion. You might know. And, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes I see you down on one knee. Mm -hmm. Now you either lost uh, a penny or two, <laughs> or you're talking to a kid. Now, now tell us about that little counseling you do. I'm, I love that. I'm yeah, so impressed um, with that, sir. Like you said, uh, proactive man. That's the key. And uh, some kids that they don't they don't have like the father figure or mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or someone to look up to and most of the mm -hmm. young young guys the mm -hmm. young boys uh, I deal with they you know they like to talk to me they tell me what you know they're going through just mm -hmm. the, the small ones it can mm -hmm. be small small things like a, a dream mm -hmm. you know bad mm -hmm. dreams or mm -hmm. I mean so I, I kind of try to deal with it like that mm -hmm. help them out you know just a little bit small counseling yeah, I, I see you on your knee frequently, and I mean that in a very good way, folks. He's uh, he gets right down eye level and talks to those little guys and young ladies too. I might add, you you don't care. Um, so we, uh, I think we have a real strong uh, behavior team. So young men from uh, the Bennett family, uh, that's what we expect of you. We expect respect, and we expect good behavior, both in and out of the classroom, and obviously we expect you to behave your mom at home too. Okay, that's part of uh, becoming a good citizen and a good student at our school. Okay, Coach Pope, is there anything um, you'd like to say? I know that, um, you know, you've had this young man with us now for at least two and possibly three years? This will be, be two years. Two years, okay, yeah. And um, I, I met you probably the well, first couple of days that you arrived there, and, and um, we had a good conversation. He rides the MTA bus, I know. Yes. And yes, he sir. does. And, yes, sir. Uh, um, overall, this school year, because you've been, you're both a parent and a coach, of course. Yes. How uh, how are we doing in terms of academics? Are we meeting your expectations of us as a school? Oh yes, sir, most definitely. Um, I mean, uh, everybody out there, if it was up to me, I'll call all of y'all, and all your kids <laughs> need to become an international because we're, we're, you know, we're grades first, and then we're athletes, and yeah. um, and. My son, my grandson, he's just in the third grade. Terrell Walker, he's just in the third grade, and he's doing great. He was on honor roll all last year. Wow. Whoop! Um, Whoa! Right now, he's like up in the like up in um, he had a progress report like in the seventy percent, and I know he can do better than that. Mm -hmm. So he was that's your put challenge. On, yeah. He was okay. put on punishment time, even though that's a C. But yeah. that's not that's not you know we're not, you, we can't have C's. Yeah. Right. Not if he C's. was on honor roll last time. Right. Yeah. He was on honor and roll. folks, this, we don't grade on the curve there. There's so many A's, so many B's, so many C's. He's 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 being graded against himself and against numbers. So we can have everybody be a hundred if they choose to. Everybody be on the A honor roll. Okay. Our, what about our young men here seated? Are they honor roll potential? This guy is for sure based on what you said. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We we get an honor roll out of you this year. Yes, sir. Raise your right hand. I saw him. He's sort of <laughs> <laughs> or I'll or I'll buy Art Wednesday have a Subway sandwich. Okay, <laughs> got him. Okay, I got him. Mr. Keys, are we going to see you on the honor roll? Hopefully so. Yeah. Hopefully I believe so. so. I got yeah. a no so part. Yeah, I'm working on it. Okay. There we go. There we go. You yes. get on the honor roll. I'll buy you a Subway sandwich, <laughs> but only six inch. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, we're nearing uh, nearing time here. Uh, how are we doing, sister? We got three minutes or so. Um, what what you what you look? We got a first home game. Is that yeah, what you want to talk game. about? That schedule. Shoot mm -hmm. it at us. Pardon? Our first home game is against um, Bay City John Glenn. Mm -hmm. um, JV starts at Woo. six o'clock. There here a home game. Home right. game, okay. and that'll be January fourth. Hope you okay. guys can come out and um, <coughs> enjoy. Yeah, I tell you what we do now, all coaches, uh, once the season begins here, we have uh, contests. Uh, we, we, do, we have questions over the air about our school 
about the Bible, mm -hmm. about current events, and folks call in, yes. and when they so call in, we give them free tickets to our game. So that's, that's a way that's to kind good. of promote a little yeah. bit of interest here. Okay. And you better remember to show. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. There we go. Yes, sir. What else? What else? The, um, Can I say something real quick? Oh, go ahead. And, um, we got the best hot chili dogs in town uh -oh. and the popcorn. So y'all need to come to the game just to eat. I mean, and, and just come and get this on this concession because um, we got the best chili dogs in town. <laughs> yeah, in fact, our cafeteria workers have asbestos gloves. Yeah. <laughs> They're so hot. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Sister Karen, you're yes. shaking your head. Don't no, do uh, that. <laughs> two more minutes. We're going to get the Bennett family, yeah. everybody in yeah, here, we're everybody. Gonna, we're going to have on. some, maybe some final remarks, yeah. coaches. Why don't you, maybe a shout-outs or some kind of final remark here. Yeah, like I um, just want to let the people know that um, <clears throat> Family Worship Center is having a um, swag rally for the students. Dwayne, Dwayne particularly, yeah. yep. Dwayne Williams, and that'll be um, next Sunday at six o'clock. Um, it's going to be a big, big event. I, um, the yeah. JV and the varsity team from International Academy of Flint will all be there. I'll be there. Gospel okay. rapper Flame, okay. he'll be there. New Nation, he'll be there. I might even create a rap. I don't yeah. Oh, Lord. it's going to be, it's going to be a real big event. <laughs> all right, and I'd like to, um, I'd like to add one more thing. All you sweet people out there and the ones that God is blessing y'all, um, if you can donate some money or whatever to our athletic program, we really appreciate it. Um, you can get with um, Mr. Winslow or you can get with uh, Coach Kendall or Coach, Coach, Coach Shakir. Mm -hmm. um, we would love to have donations from anybody because, you know, it's, it's a rough time right now for everybody. If you can just donate a little something and it would be a tax write-off for you guys. So mm -hmm. please, you know, think about us. Yeah, we God do, bless y'all. We do a lot of traveling, folks. Uh, where are we? Are we going in the UP again this year? Yes, we will. We're going. Now, our team goes to the Upper Peninsula. Does that cost more than a dollar? Yeah. 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 It sure does. Okay, young man. Uh, our our team. Do you have any final remarks here before we? And you're at, at the mic up there, Miss Bennett. Hang on, young man. What do you got? Anything? Uh, Want to say something? Tell us your um, girlfriend's name. Uh -uh. Not don't, do that. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, oh, okay. That's she enough of that. It. Okay. He, he's pulling out a notebook. He looks like the phone book. He says, mm -hmm. no, it's, just, it's just been a good time from seventh to ninth grade to be at okay. international, okay. and it's gonna get me far in life and yep. my goals. And that's oh, and we should ask about um, your career. Tell us quickly where you intend to go. Uh, the career I want to attend is being an engineer. Like mechanic wise, because people have problems with their cars, <laughs> and you know, I want to make a little money on the side plus my business. <laughs> okay, so. we'll move ahead now. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a, any closing remarks, dear? We just like to say thank you for letting my kids have an opportunity to come to your school and learn and get a better education. Than lady, what they we were are honored reading. to have you be a part of us, and I think we're going to do really, really well. And now, folks, wherever you are in the car. Maybe you are in the mall walking with an earphone. Maybe you are in an air balloon over the state of Utah. Wherever you are, my friends, look at somebody and say, That's some kind of school. Bye, everybody.